Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video, I'm going to be covering how you can get weather data and use it in our Smart Attract 2014 navigation software. So let's run Smart Attract. So Smart Attract can read um, and display what are called grid files, which a uh, grid file is a is a weather file. Um, grid files were created by the meteorological offices so that they could share weather data between themselves, um, and it's a uh, quite a common format and there's lots of websites where you can download this grid file data but it can be quite difficult to find a, a reliable source um, and so uh, I was oh, I would absolutely recommend without hesitation uh, a piece of software called UGRID which is a free piece of software I'm just gonna let's just minimize this now um, so we're going to use UGRIB to actually select and uh, download the GRIB file which Smart Attract will use. So first of all, let's, let's run the UGRIB program. Um, very straightforward. You just make sure that you've got select area selected, and then you just click and drag to, da to select the area that you want to download weather information for. So we're going to that's going to be the area that we're going to go for. Um, you can select the number of days of weather forecast between one and seven. Um, you can select the interval, either three hourly interval, six hours, twelve or twenty-four. Uh, resolution, uh, I'm going to select the highest resolution, 0 0.5 degrees. Um, and you can select the, the wind, rain or pressure. I'm going to select all of those. So it's about uh, what's well, about a megabyte of, of data that we're going to uh, transfer. Uh, also in here you want to select the, the folder that you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to, um, uh, let's do this. So libraries, documents, my documents and then I'm going to put it in smart track and then in the weather folder of smart track. So select that and it's probably best just to verify the file after download just to make sure it's not been corrupted as it's downloaded and you just click the download grid file and it's as simple as that. Uh, it takes a, oh first of all you have to put in your email address um, so when when I got the UGRIB software although it's free um, to download and to use, you, they do like you to register. Um, so uh, I've registered, and I just need to put in my email address. Select that, um, and that's uh, confirmed. It's okay. Success successfully validated me, and it's just uh, connected to, to Grib US. Uh, file is on its way. Uh, it's a really great, I'm mean, considering it's free of charge, this is a great piece of software. Um, it's verified the GRIB file and there we are, it's displaying it um, in the UGRIB program. But uh, I want to actually display that file now in Smart Attract, so I'm just going to close that file. I'm going to go back to, to Smart Attract and go to the weather and I've got the option to load from disk. So let's that and the most recent one is that one which is the one that we've just downloaded and we're going to open that and it's just saying that the weather forecast is currently turned off so let's turn that on yes and let's zoom out a bit so that we can see the data so here we go so you've got the uh, wind uh, data shown there and if we go properties uh, I'm going to actually get it to show the wind speed uh, numerically because I always find it easier to uh, read that. There you go, so you can see you know, 14, 16, 17, 18 knots of wind uh, and that's as of uh, 12 o'clock today. Uh, you can actually uh, step through, so if we go advance and it will show you what the wind's going to be doing. So it's pretty much staying the same, strengthening a little bit. Uh, what time is that? And here you've got a constant update of what. So that's 12 o'clock tomorrow. Um, so every time I click back or advance, it uh, goes forward or back by three hours. Um, and you've got five days worth of, of data there. So it looks like you know, end of Friday the wind's starting to, to change. In fact, it looks quite changeable uh, as we approach the weekend. So. Uh, and then I can also display the isobars and again these are animated so that as we step through you'll see the that probably have to zoom out a bit to get a better 
feel for the so yeah it looks like there's a bit of a oh probably too much data there that's the only problem with the grid files is a lot of data there um, but as you can see that front is going to move up through the through the English channel um, through Saturday so you know really really useful um, features there um, once you've got that wind data uh, like I say it's it uh, gives you five days of forecast three three hour um, steps uh, and really a very useful tool to to have at your fingertips so I hope you've enjoyed watching me download the weather data using the UGRID program and then displaying it on SmarterTrack uh, and that's the end of today's video thank you